Welcome to the Goth Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone, I'm your teacher for this question. The question says approximate to two decimal places the x-intercepts and the local extrema. We're given the function px is equal to 0.04x cubed minus 10x plus 5. Okay, so depending on just the function, we know that it's a third degree. So third degree degree right third degree polynomial that's the first condition and then we what we can do is to use the scientific calculator or online tools such as desmos to graph this function out and find their that find the x-intercept and the uh, local extrema okay so for me, I use the second one, the decimals to draw the graph out. So I'll demonstrate the graph to you. But if you have the scientific calculator, you can also do that as well. So let me draw this on the left side. So y axis and this is the x axis. Y and x. We know that for a third degree polynomial, the graph most likely it will be looking like that or that, depending on if it's a negative leading uh, coefficient or positive leading coefficient. In our case, we have a positive leading coefficient, 0 0.04. So we should have something that looks like uh, that. And depending on the graph I got, I find something that looks like this. Okay, so let me draw this. Oh, sorry, I should cross the drawing by hand is tell us it's pretty, you know, quite difficult, but manageable. So okay, something like that. Let me fix the shape a little bit. Okay, so this is the graph that I got. So because there are two, I mean, the uh, it's a third degree polynomial, the maximum extrema I can get is depending on the turning points, which it should be two. In our case, there are two turning points. One is at, let me write this out right here, and one is right here. So the one that's right here, the turning point is at negative 9.13, and 65.86, okay, so negative 9.13 and 65.86, okay, so the second extrema or local minimum is 9.13, negative 55.86. Okay, these two are the extremas. And next, we find the x-intercepts. There are three intercepts. So the maximum number of x-intercepts a third-degree polynomial can get is three. Okay, now let's write the coordinate, or let's write them out. So in total, there are three. The first one is at negative 16.06 and zero. Second one is at a place that's very close to the origin, 0 0.5 and 0. The last one is at 15.56 and 0. Okay, so let, let's write them out on the right side. So for x intercepts, intercepts, there are three. So first one is negative 16.060. Zero. Next one is 0 0.5. Zero. And the last one is 15.56. Zero. And for local extrema, local extrema, there are two. First one is negative 9.13, 65.86. Second one is 9.13, they have the same, same, very similar though, the, their x-coordinate, 
and negative 55.86. Okay, so these are the answers for this question. What we can take away from this question is how to use decimals or scientific calculator, which in our case, though we didn't use it, but we know that how to use the graph to find the x intercept and the local extrema. And also review the concept that for a third degree calculator, uh, sorry, third degree polynomial, the maximum number of turning points or local extrema it can have is two, and for the maximum number of what x intercept is three. Okay, so that's all of this question. See you in the next video.